Hi dear students, in last lecture we have studied the vertical line test and in this lecture uh, we are going to discuss our next topic of Howard and Onton series, uh, Calculus Howard and Onton series 10th edition, uh, the absolute value function. So uh, before start the absolute value, uh, we know that the uh, what means of absolute uh, absolute mean is maximum uh, maximum valued uh, function we say that maximum value function and also we say that uh, the magnitude value of the function so uh, now uh, we define the absolute value function uh, define a uh, definition of uh, uh, absolute value function is uh, the absolute value or a magnitude of real number x is defined by uh, absolute value of x is equal to x if x is greater than equal to 0 uh, or uh, is equal to minus x if x is less than 0 so here uh, uh, this this notation we also read as mod of x or modulus of x so uh, the if uh, uh, the mod, mod of x is equal to x is uh, if uh, x is greater than equal to 0 x is greater than equal to 0 means uh, the positive values if the uh, value inside this mod is positive then our modulus value is x if the um, if uh, the value inside the mod is negative uh, is negative whenever it's uh, x is less than 0 it means x is negative then it give us negative of the value which is inside the mod so dear student, student uh, to understand this definition we take some example uh, uh, and uh, if we if we uh, if we write this definition uh, separately uh, the first part of this, this definition is x mod is equal to x if x is greater than equal to 0 so we write here uh, the first uh, part of this definition and we take some uh, number which is greater than equal to 0 so 5 is a greater than or equal to 0 is a positive number then the mod of 5 is equal to 5 and 5 is belongs to real number sets because uh, the num uh, the absolute uh, in a definition we are mentioned uh, the absolute value of a magnitude of real numbers so 5 is belongs to real numbers similarly uh, the second part of this definition is x mod is equal to minus x x mod is equal to minus x whenever x is less than 0 less than 0 means negative 0 this expression means when the value inside the magnitude is negative then the mod uh, the value that is equal to negative of the value which is inside the uh, mod inside the absolute signs uh, let's suppose we take a, a value minus 4 over 7 so minus 4 over 7 is less than 0 which means minus 4 over 7 is negative is negative value so uh, by definition we know when the value inside the mode is negative then the uh, we take uh, we take a positive uh, we, we take a negative uh, sign uh, with this value which is inside the which is inside the mode sign so uh, here is negative 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 make it positive uh, so my mode of minus 4 over 7 is positive 4 over 7 uh, for simply we, we can say that uh, if if the if, if the value inside the uh, mode is negative then mode make it positive that is a property of mode if the value inside the mode is negative then mode make it positive uh, for simply we can say uh, like that so uh, next uh, we are also discuss some properties of uh, absolute values so the first property of absolute value is if x if a and b are real number it means uh, we suppose some, we have some uh, we have two numbers uh, which is belongs to set of real numbers then uh, mod of negative a is equals to mod of positive a it means a, a number and its negative have the same absolute have the same absolute we know that by the definition if negative value then mod make it positive if positive then uh, the mod of this number is itself 
so uh, the second property of absolute value uh, fun uh, function is if two number are the in the product form uh, the product of a b is equals to uh, the mod of product of a b is equal to a mod into b mod in 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 three uh, in th third uh, property if a over b mod if that is equal to a mod over b mod here uh, uh, we know that the denominator should be non a non zero number so b is not equal to zero the fourth property is if two number in a form of summation and we apply the whole mod that is less than equal to that will be less than equal to a mod plus b mod which is triangular inequality very famous uh, inequality uh, in inequality uh, that is triangular inequality uh, in next uh, we study the graph of absolute valued function so if we have a function like uh, f of x is equals to x mod uh, we know that uh, we study in our previous uh, videos previous lectures uh, our output we take our output with another variable say as y then uh, if we write here uh, f of x is equals to y let let f of x is equal to y then y is equals to x mod so uh, by definition by definition of absolute value y is equals to x mod equal to x if x is greater than equal to 0 greater than equal to 0 it means x is positive and y is equal to x mod is negative whenever x is less than 0 so by definition uh, uh, similarly if we separate our uh, definition uh, the first part of definition uh, y is equals to x and we make a table for draw a graph when we put zero here then output is also here here uh, to be very carefully uh, when we write the first part of this definition the input value should be greater than equal to zero the values which uh, are the input value uh, should be greater than equal to zero the positive values so uh, uh, no negative values we say that no negative values because zero is also included uh, so when we put zero here then output is also zero when we put one here the output is one here similarly we can put two uh, three and uh, our output are uh, also right here so the second part of this definition is y is equals to minus x y is equals to minus x and our input should be less than zero because we know that the value inside the mod should be negative value should be negative value then our answer is minus into x so uh, if we put minus 1 it gives us plus 1 and um, also uh, solve here when we put y is equal to minus uh, x uh, and uh, minus into minus 1 uh, positive 1 similarly when we put uh, in, in in this table uh, we make a table for draw the graph mi for minus 1 it give us positive 1 for minus 2 it, it give us positive 2 similarly we can find other values now dear students we can draw the graph of this uh, the graph of this function the graph of this function uh, this modulus function absolute value function uh, Let's suppose that is our y-axis, that is our x-axis. Let's suppose uh, our x-axis, our y-axis, y-axis, y-axis. Here, uh, one, two, three, minus one, minus two minus 3 1 2 3 minus 1 minus 2 and minus 3 when we uh, uh, for 0 there is 0 for 1 1 when we draw this graph by uh, similarly like uh, like previous lecture it becomes the this part 
for this part 